What up guys Nakamoto Crypto here. This is the biggest Electronium news yet. Smart contracts are coming into the Electronium network. This will happen right after this major upgrade takes place at the end of this month on September the 30th of 2021. The Electronium network will shift to a public blockchain. These are the words of the founder of Electronium, Richard Ells. Stay tuned like and subscribe let's get to it guys if you have been holding electronium for the past few years this is the moment you want to check out take a look hi everybody richard ailes here from electronium with an exciting update we've been working hard for the last a year nearly a year on a, a, a significant change to our blockchain model so we are currently have a few privacy features uh, not huge privacy features uh, but, but nonetheless still features that the industry would consider to be private. The direction of travel for the industry is definitely away from privacy features. Uh, we've seen uh, Bittrex and Shapeshift, um, uh, Bittrex in the US of course, uh, delist privacy coins. We've seen whole countries like Japan and South Korea, major market participants, uh, completely outright ban privacy coins. So as such, we began working on a public version of our blockchain, and I can very happily announce that that is going to automatically migrate on the 30th of September. The actual block height that it changes at is 1175315. At that block height, um, all wallets will automatically start doing things slightly differently. And this video is to explain what it's going to do and We've already heard why we're doing it. The direction of travel of the industry is heading that way and we want to make sure that we are in the best possible place to make uh, ETN and the Electronium Network a huge success. What are we doing? Okay, so we've made our blockchain operate very similarly uh, in public details to Bitcoin and Ethereum. That means you will be able to follow a transaction along from wallet to wallet. You'll be able to see the contents of people's wallets and what transactions they are making and follow those transactions. This is something that uh, um, the various authorities from around the world are, are probably moving towards. What have we done? Okay, so we've made a, a change to our software. All app users need to do nothing at all. This will be completely transparent to you. The only people who will need to make an update are the exchanges themselves and anybody who runs the command line or the, the, uh, runs a node or operates at a lower level. They will need to update their software. It's already available on our GitHub, so uh, people can go and download it. Effectively, uh, what we've done is we've made a, a, a transaction take place when that fork height hits. So when that block uh, arrives on the blockchain, the wallet will automatically do something. It will sweep all of the contents of the wallet to itself at no fee whatsoever into the new public blockchain. And what that means is that from that point forwards, from that block height forwards, things will be transparent to anybody who wants to go and take a look. Like I say, nobody needs to do anything from a user perspective unless you are, are an exchange or running a, a, a node. But what it means for you as a user is that your transactions will be able to be looked at in the future. Uh, now this doesn't affect uh, paper wallets. So if you've got uh, funds on a paper wallet, those keys are still valid, it will still operate in the future, there's no deadline on this. You can migrate them whenever you want. You'll still be able to import paper wallets in exactly the same way you do now. But any transactions you make on the blockchain from that height onwards will be public. So why is this a good thing? So uh, we obviously, I've, I've mentioned about the direction of travel of the whole industry, but it also opens up things that uh, didn't really exist or didn't exist when we first envisaged uh, Electronium. <clears throat> so for instance, DeFi, that whole marketplace um, is, has not been open to us, but having a public blockchain enables us to look at uh, integration of smart contracts, DeFi, that sort of thing. So we can do a lot more with a public blockchain. So it's exciting for us as a project. It enables us to much more easily integrate cross-chain contracts. For instance, uh, if we wanted to jump out of a CBDC into Electronium or vice versa, or into uh, an Ethereum uh, contract. Those things will be able to be integrated uh, and this is the first step towards that. So this is, this is a really good positive uh, change for the blockchain itself. 
I'm going to look at my piece of paper. I never use an auto cue. I just ramble on somewhat. But I just wanted to double check that I'm covering everything. So, ah, oh, one thing I didn't say. The migration is free. So obviously transactions have a very low cost on the Electronium blockchain. But it is important to note that this migration from if you if you just open your wallet and it sweeps to itself into the new chain, there's no cost to that. So you, the exact decimal point of ETN will still be yours. There is no cost whatsoever. Uh, oh, of course, I've also noted down to mention that it's going to be a new block explorer. That's taken some time to work on as well, which just functions much like the Bitcoin or Ethereum block explorer i.e. you can traverse the blockchain and look at transactions and follow ETN around the network. So when does this take place? It takes place on the 30th of September. What do you need to do? Probably nothing at all. Uh, if you're an app user, don't need to do anything and don't worry about it. Uh, if you are an exchange or you run a node, you will have to download the latest version of our software, <clears throat> which is available now. Uh, it's available now on GitHub. So do please uh, head over to GitHub and take that software down if you need to do it, but 99.9% .9 of people on our network, more than that actually, 99.99999% of people on our network will not need to do anything. Just stand by and watch it happen. And this is a great and positive thing for the future. You guys heard this. Smart contracts are coming into the Electronium network. What was preventing this from happening in the past was the fact that the Electronium blockchain was a fork of Monero, which was a privacy coin. So since they were working towards migrating from this, privacy coin was blocking them from making all of these things happen. Smart contracts, DeFi, and just stepping into the new world of coins and tokens and cryptocurrency. This is the haymaker that everybody been waiting for when it comes to Electronium. This is it. He mentioned that exchanges like Japan and South Korea and Bittrex and all of these major exchanges they, they were refusing to list certain tokens and they started to delist privacy coins. But now with the Electronium blockchain being public and not private, all of these things will be enabled into it pretty much. This will take place on September the 30th of 2021 at the end of this month and it will happen at block number 1,175,315. You don't have to do anything if you are into your wallet that day everything will run smoothly and they they are going to automatically update this you noticed in the video that richard else mentioned that the direction of travel of electronium has to fall in line with where the industry is going in terms of DeFi, nfts smart contracts and also central bank digital currencies these are major and very very important things that will come in later on we're talking about stable coins coins that the banks will be able to use electronium will be a blockchain that is really friendly to the banks and what other coin is major in the top 20 of all cryptocurrencies by market cap is that it is none other than xrp so these cryptocurrencies such as electronium quant xrp they will prevail in the future so this is the big news this upgrade will make the electronium chain not a private one anymore but now public and this is going to be huge anything from that point forward can be built on the electronium network so yes you heard it from the mouth of the owner richard Els is basically saying that smart contracts in the future will be able to be built on the electronium network look at the price of etn at the moment it is up 12 percent and for the first time it is staying above that two cents mark so guys what are your thoughts on smart contracts coming into electronium what are your thoughts on DeFi, nft everything else being built on top of the electronium blockchain imagine being able to stake your electronium tokens in the future just like you're doing right now with cardano and all these other coins this is huge this is big for electronium leading up to september 30th you're gonna see a lot of price movements when this news goes public so like i was saying in my previous videos the price of etn is not gonna stay at these levels for long what are your thoughts on a dollar electronium in the near future let us know in the comment section below like the video share it subscribe for some crypto content i have been mr nakamoto crypto and i'm out